Hey, what's up everybody? Brian here with the Holy Roller playing craps on a cruise to earn a free cruise. And today we're gonna roll out an oldie but goodie, a strategy that surprisingly a lot of people don't even know, but it's called the Iron Cross. <laughs> Let's watch it, here we go. Welcome to the Holy Roller where it's all about playing craps and winning free cruises. I'm gonna show you what it's all about. So let's get rolling. All right, this is an oldie. This is like a classic when it comes to a strategy. It's called the Iron Cross. And the way it works is, let me get some, let me get some change here. Uh, so this is gonna be $20 in ones. Okay, so let's just put these right here. And the reason why is because whenever you bet on the six and eight, you wanna have a multiple of six, which would be $12 would be a minimum on a, a Royal Caribbean cruise, um, $12, even though it's a $10 minimum table, $12 on the six and eight, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put up the five as well, and I'll show you why in just a second. So we're gonna do a $10 five. Now, five, six, eight, right? Two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Every number is covered except for the seven. Okay, so Iron Cross would go like this, bet here as well. Now, these would pay 14, this would pay 10. Now, this is where people make the biggest mistake when it comes to the Iron Cross, is they play it at the same level. Now, if this was a $5 table, you would go up one level, so instead of five, you would go to 10, but then in the field, you would do five. In fact, on a Royal Caribbean ship, uh, the minimum in the field is $1. So you could do, even though it's a $10 minimum, you could do $5 right here in the field, as long as you have a $10 somewhere on the table. So in this scenario, you would win either $14 if this hit, but you would lose this, so you'd win $9 because that would, that would put it back. Or you would win here in the field $5. If it's a two or 12, you might win 10. But basically on every roll, you could win five or $9. Now, like I said, this is where people make a mistake is they go up with the same amount. This is 10, 20, 30, $44. And the difference, you would win 10, or $4, so a $44 bet, just to win $4, that's not a good bet. Now, you would have to go up a level though. So what you would do is, if it's a $10 table, then you would bring this to 15, and you would do 18 and 18, okay? So being that these would be 18 and 18, each one of these would pay 21, 21, 21, 21, that's what it would pay and this one would pay 10. So in this scenario, you do have, uh, what is this, 30, 45, 55, 56, or sorry, $61. So you have $61 out here. And with every roll, except for the seven, you would win 10 or $11. If a five rolled, you would win 21, but, you would lose 10, so a difference of $11. If any of the field rolled, you would win $10, so that would be a 10 or $11, and if it's a two or 12, you'd get 20. So that's only two combinations of the dice. So this is the way you would wanna do it. Whenever you're doing the iron cross, and some people would say, go up higher, you know, and so here's another way you could do it. Let me take these down. And this would be probably a better ratio, but I don't know that um, people would want to do it, uh, but this would be the proper ratio. I would probably say go up to $30 and then put 10 in the field. Now at this ratio, it kind of gets worth it a little bit because you're gonna either win $10 right here in the field, or if it's a five, six, eight, you're gonna win $35 or a difference of $25 and then you just put that back. So if a five, six and eight roll, you lose this, this is what you win and then you put that back and you rack a quarter. 
Now, if that happens four times, four rolls, because it doesn't matter what hit, you're going to win anywhere between your, your money back or if it's only $10, you'll probably need a couple more rolls. So let's roll it at this level just to kind of see what would happen, okay? Let me reset the bankroll for $300, okay? Here we go. All right, we got the bankroll set for $300. We're going to go ahead and go up in our 5, 6, and 8 uh, at 25, 30, and 30. They all pay $35. The puck is off. Let's get, a, let's get established, uh, a point established. So the first roll when the puck is off, these bets are off. So there's a 10. Now, we didn't have a field bet because we're waiting for a point to be established. Now we're on the 10. So being that we're on the 10, now it's time to roll, but we're going to put $10 in the field. We win on every number except for the bad number that we don't want to talk about right now, okay? <laughs> and there's an 8. All right, so the first roll is losing in the field, and we get $25. We put this back. Let's put the $25 here so we can see where we're at. Let's say that paid for the five. Here we go. And it's a five. All right, so same thing. And now we go like this and we put this back and now we have another quarter right there. Here we go. And it's another five. So here we go. This loses, that wins. Now, the way that I play the Iron Cross, if I were to play it, there's a two, all right? So there's double in the bubble. So that pays double here, all right? Let's go ahead and rack it. But what I was gonna say is the five, six, and eight, I collect the field, I spread and build, okay? So being that I got the two here, if you're familiar with running with the bulls strategy, I probably would do a horn high yo, and I would get a nine. That's what I would do. So with the field, I build, and with the other non-field, I collect. Okay, here we go, let's see. And it's a seven out. Wow, all of that. So we had a total investment, okay? That's our total investment of $95, okay? And we got 75, so we got 75 back. So that means we lost $20 on that shooter, okay? So we're $20 down. Let's try it one more time. And I will show you the other way that I do it, if it's an iron cross. And so there is a four. So now the point is four, and we have to roll a four before a seven in order to pass or win. Now we'll just go up here with the five, six, and eight. And here we go in the field. Here we go. Let's see what comes. There's a nine, so that's a $10 win. So again, if it is, Five, six, and eight, I collect. If it's a field, I press. So I'm gonna just get the nine with that, with that one right there. Here we go. And it's a seven out. So that one, we had a chance to get $10 back, but we didn't, so we're actually out all $95. Let's try it one more time. And we could do a modified version this time. And what I mean by the modified version is when you do the Iron Cross, you really choose what you want to do with your numbers. So let's say we're right here. Um, well, let's get a come out roll first and see what the point is, okay? So these are off. So let's, let's get a point established. And let's see what the point is. So you might say, yeah, I've been watching this video and I'm wondering what the point is as well. All right, so it was a five, by the way. So if it was a five, I would just stay on the five, okay? And then here we go, now we're out. So this time, instead of collecting here, we're gonna collect the field and we'll press in the, on the box numbers, okay? So there's a six. So that's gonna be $25, and there it goes like that, right? So we'll put the 10 back, and then we'll get the nine, okay? So see how we're, we're pressing with the box numbers and we'll collect the field. All right, here we go. And there's a four. So if, if you're, you know, I know this would be hard for you. Like I have 110 out there and, you know, 120 and I'm going to put 10 in my rack. Why do that? Why not get the four or 10? Well, we'll get the four and 10 when we hit this. Here we go. And there's a five. So that is a difference of $25. It is a winner. Let's go ahead and rack that being that that was a winner. 
and let's roll for another come out. So there is an eight. So now the point is eight. Okay, and we're gonna go back in the field. And I racked that up there. So we're gonna just put that there. So we got 110 inside plus here. So the nine is our jackpot number. There's a six. So there is that. Now we could get a four, okay? And on a Royal Caribbean ship, you're gonna, that goes back there. On a Royal Caribbean ship, you have to pay up front for the VIG. So to buy the bet, once you go above $15, like a $20, you'll have to pay a dollar. So that's change. So I'm gonna pay a dollar and that's called a VIG or a commission or like a tax for that bet. Now that pays $1, pays 50 for one. So let's get a four because we win it here. Now nine is a jackpot, but four is a bigger jackpot. Let's see if we can get a four. And there's a seven out. <laughs> so, so you could see with the, with the iron cross, it counts with everything but seven. Okay, so let's see where, what did we bring back to our rack with all of that? Um, we only brought back, uh, what's that, $45. So down significantly there, okay? So you might say, can you play it with the seven? Like what if you covered every number? Well, that's a big hedge and it's a big risk on the come out. So let's see how much money we have left. Let's see if we could dig into our pockets. And let's say we're gonna put this up and we know that this is gonna cost us about $95. So let's say $100. Let's see if we can um, borrow another $100 from someone. Uh, hey, wifey, <laughs> give me $100 that you want at the slot machines. And then, uh, so she gives us $100 and we, we, we say, I'm gonna put that $100 on the don't. <laughs> so now this covers the seven, but it loses on 7-Eleven right here. It wins on 2-3-12. Let's leave these bets off and see if we can get that to cover. Here we go, let's see what happens here. Um, so let's get, a, let's get a point established and that's an 11, of course. It loses on 7-Eleven. Hey, wifey. <laughs> How you doing over there? Could you give me another hundred? All right, there we go. So she got it. She gave us another hundred. No seven, no eleven. That's all we want. Okay, there's a six. <laughs> all right. So now this loses on a six, but it wins on a seven. Okay. So now let's go up. Now we're winning on every number. Now this is just to win a hundred back, and we had ninety-five out there. So we're winning on every number because we'd win five dollars if this rolled. Let's see if we can win that $100 back that we lost and we have to give it back to our wife, okay? Here we go, let's see. There is a Yo 11. So Yo 11, that's $10 win. Let's go ahead and get a nine. Here we go. And there is a three. Man, we should have been running with the bulls with that strategy. All right, there is there is that. Let's get a 10, here we go. And there is a five. So a five, we lose this. And we we win that. Let's get a let's get a four. We'll go ahead and buy that. We we'll get a four for twenty five dollars. And there is a nine. So the nine that's a jackpot when that happens, because we win here. But then we also win fourteen dollars or fifteen for one. So it's fourteen. So this makes it fifteen. And let's go ahead and make this a quarter by pressing it. So now we have that. And let's take this and let's just put this in our rack. Here we go. And it's a two, all right? Two, that's double in the bubble. So that makes it right here, let's just like that. So let's make this, uh, let's go up uh, 25. Let's make this look like 25. So that's 25, we need to pay a dollar for it. All right, and then this becomes a buy bet as well. So there we go. Now we have 160 across and a $10 here and this. Let's see what happens. Here we go. And it's a seven out. So we lost all this, everything we built to, everything we were working on, and then a hundred of it, we win right here. So at least we got a hundred of it back. We started with one with 95 when we first started. So we won $5 on that shooter. So that is a little hedge, but again, 
watch this because if we do it again that's the big this is the big risk 7-eleven lose right here two three win and then if we would have hit the point and I, I forget what the point was on the last roll i think it was a six if we would have hit a six we would have lost the hundred so you know it's kind of like you know sometimes this the best the best one to get on a come out is a four or a ten because there's only three ways to make a four or a ten and that has a better chance of surviving although that did survive last time so we could go back up and run it again and see where we end up but a eight is a so we'd still bet the eight but a eight is a high probability number um there's five ways to make an eight let's see what happens here we go <laughs> and there's a nine so nine that's in the field let's go ahead and put up the nine all right here we go there's another nine so now the nine became a jackpot for us let's do 15 for one out there and then we'll do 10 in the field we'll make it we'll make the nine look like a quarter and now uh, we'll take the field and get a 10 with it okay let's roll and there is the eight the scenario that i was just talking about we get we win here we lose this but look the eight this loses on an eight wins on a seven so we lost this too we still have our money out there and it's protected let's go ahead and get this and let's get some change so we can pay for that and make that a buy bet all right now we have another come out and it is a nine so now the point is nine this time and we'll stay on the nine and get our field get our field back working and let's see what happens and it's a nine winner nine now if we were there we would have lost that again <laughs> this time we win here but we also win there so let's go ahead and take our 10 to a buy bet with one dollar so now our 10 so now we have our money across we're taking 30 back to our rack here and let's see if we could keep this streak going maybe nope <laughs> no hedge no nothing we lost everything and we're walking away with 30 40 45 uh yeah just you know i don't know <laughs> what is that what is that uh or close to 75 dollars because all this is gone well anyway that's the iron cross it's a classic and uh the the way to win it is to press and so uh, I'll show you sometime how to do that, but the way to win the Iron Cross is to press, spread, press, collect. You need a long roll. On any strategy, you need a long roll. But if you would have, if we would have just put all of our money on the five, six, and eight, and in the field put more money there, then we start making more money on every roll. Maybe I'll do a part two and we'll roll that out like that. All right, until next time, watch this video. Hope you subscribe if you want to know how to play craps on a cruise to earn a free cruise. And I hope to see you cruising and rolling on a craps table soon. See ya.